Hey everyone, welcome back to more Everclicker. So I think we're gonna start things off in the kind of the hall, I think it's called, the feasting hall. And I got some of the new uh, like snacks, I guess, for the cauldron. So we're gonna throw those in there to level that up. Get some Ever Turkey. Uh, we also have a quest here, permanent boost. But to do this quest, you actually have to go and defeat monsters that are just for that quest. I don't really want to do that right now because we're really close to the final boss of basically the first star. So let's head back over there. But I'm not sure if this is going to be the last video of Everclicker or not. It just kind of depends. So we'll see how it goes. But we are really close. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're really close to the end because I think it's level 40. is basically the boss. We're at 38. So we could be clicking here and doing this. But I have a lot of the... Uh, Coins for now at least at this level I feel like this is a lot of coins so we could level up some good stuff let's scroll down here and look um, yeah we could awaken basically two new people so we're gonna awaken dr. beaker there we go he looks like he's excited and then we also got Carla Carla the vampire the prince of darkness okay great so we got them. I think I'm just going to get one more level for Dr. Beaker because it probably does a lot of damage, I'm guessing. And you can switch whatever character you want to show in the middle of the screen. So we got that. The other thing is uh, Tom, the community manager at King's Isle, gave me enough gems to be able to purchase the pet. Now, I don't know where the pet is. I saw it earlier. We're going to find this pet. Um, it's not here. Here it is. Hocus Focus. So we have perfect, like, enough gems, 10,000, to really get this. I think the 2,000, or the 200 was from a community event, and then 20, I don't know where I got that, probably just randomly. We're gonna buy Hocus Focus, purchase that, have the little, uh, little fly eyeball to help us, the myth pet. So, there we go. We're doing that. He helps us to, like, locate the weaknesses of enemies and does a lot of damage to be honest it's, it's not bad so we got that going on and i feel like we're doing a good amount of damage now so let's see what this thing is I'm not gonna watch a video for now but you can do that just to kind of get gold i mean that's how these a lot of these clicker games work um i also have a time gate i kind of want to focus on the boss in this episode so we're just gonna do that instead but we're doing good we're getting there um, I know a lot of people have been playing this, and it'd be easier on mobile. I play it on my computer just to record it, but I know a lot of people are getting, like, fairly high stars, and I've been playing games similar to this. I did play a lot of EverClicker in the beta. Maybe I'll get back into it on my phone. On my phone, I have a different account. It was, like, the beta account, so I'll have to go try that out. Or maybe I can try to transfer this progress onto that account. I'm not sure. I think you have to connect through Facebook to do that, but... We're getting close. Okay, this is the last level of 39 and 40. Is this the final boss? It might not be. Oh, it is. I was like, wait, is this the final boss or not? Okay, we're not doing enough damage. Um, let's just use everything. I don't know what to. I don't know what to use. Uh, should we wait? Hold on. I feel like we wasted too much time there. I'm just gonna spam everything. All right, let me see what this stuff does here. I used to remember what this did, but. Yeah, I've, I've since forgotten because I haven't played this. Double the effect. Freezes. Okay, we're going to... We're going to double. We're going to freeze. And then we're going to copy. That's that's the best that's the best plan of action here. Okay, no, I don't need this. I don't need your gold bundle. Okay, we're going to go double, hypno, and then Dr. Beaker. All right, let's try it. Let's see what's gonna happen. I hope we can do it because I feel like we, we should be able to. Okay, come on. This cooldown is an hour long, so we really need to do this correct. Oh no, I don't I don't remember it. This, this, this. Okay, we just need to use everything. Now we just use everything. Just just go. Just everything go. I don't care. It doesn't matter at this point. Yes! See, all you gotta do is wait and then you can just completely destroy him in a matter of seconds. If you just use every single ability that you have available. So what I did there was I was able to freeze the boss timer for a good amount of time. 
That's it. First star. Wow. Total stars one. I think if we looked at the leaderboards, there's some people that have hundreds of stars, which is a lot. And this is how you unlock some characters. You have to get a certain amount of stars. It's basically just playing through it again. What world is this? Did we complete the world? We got one essence. Okay. What do we get? Warp, warped bosses. Uh, feast hall upgrade. Okay, I want to look at like the world map so you can see everything. After the start of our awaits goodbye to us. Etheria is saved. I cannot stay and be queen. I'm not done yet with our adventure. Well, I guess that was Etheria. Yep, there's plenty of other worlds. Um... Each time you recover a star from the devourer, you can also earn a skill point. Okay. So you kind of get a pick. I don't even know what... Add an automatic clicker. I mean... Increase the starting stage by 20 levels. What? <laughs> Wait, what was that? I don't know. Let's just do this. <laughs> okay. Alright, so next world is right here. I'm trying to get through this tutorial thing. I don't know what is. I just want to look at the world map. <laughs> can I go? No. I already know how to do it. So now we can essence. You have to start completely over. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just looking to click through all this stuff. You have to summon something to be able to basically do more damage now. So the second playthrough, I mean, we're basically starting, you know, back with just Tina. So yeah, great. But the second time, the enemies get more difficult, but you do get a little more uh, power with the 10% damage with this. So there are spirits I guess you can use. Okay, how do we go to the world map? Right there. Here we go. So, world map, we did this one. I think you can, might be able to go back and get other skill points. Not sure though. Um, here's the next one. If you get to star number four, you get to unlock this hero. So some of the heroes only unlock after a certain amount. I don't even know how far this is, but this is a lot. Uh, here's the next hero. And then you continue all the way. There's a few more, and then that's it. So, a lot of worlds. Um, you can even go past this, uh, past these amount of worlds, and just continue to get more stars. Because if we look at the leaderboards next, uh, where are the leaderboards? It's got to be here. Friend requests. That is a lot of friend requests. Um, thank you, everyone, for friending me. Uh, I might go through and add some of you. But... For now, I just wanted to look at the leaderboards. Here we go, leaderboards. Okay, who has the highest amount of stars in the game? Cosmic. Can we see? Is there anyone? I don't know why it's not showing that many people. Only show friends. Okay, don't only show friends. Let's show everyone. Let's see how many people in this game have over 251 stars. Two people. 700? That is so much. That is some dedication to Everclick right there. 700 stars. That's almost double what the second place guy has. Then there's a few people. I used to be friends with Fahey on the beta. This guy has been playing the game for a while. So, there you go. That's some of the top people playing this game right now. That's quite a few. But, let's just continue. We got our little pet guy here. Continue going through this. Um, any other things I can check? Uh, did I get a new... Oh, we get our, our crowns code for getting the first star. So that's how you get the first star. It just goes to your mailbox. You can get that. And then you're able to redeem that on a wizard for 200 crowns. And then I think you got to get to star four to get the 800 crowns. So 1,000 total. I'm not really doing too much damage. Can I switch to this? All right. Let's see how far we can get. And then... Uh, Maybe I'll start playing this more on my phone too. It'd be nice if I could transfer my phone save over to this one because that one's a lot farther. But who knows? It just depends. So level that. And then you just continue. I think maybe there's more stages the higher you get as well. Like per star, you have to do more stages in order to get the other ones to get the next star. 
But that's basically just my look at Everclicker. We did three episodes of it. We got the pet. We did got the first star, defeating the star devourer. So just to look at it for you guys to show you what King's Isle came out with. And to see if maybe you want to play yourself. So, there you go. But I think we're going to wrap things up here. Get Tina or a few more levels. I do like this pet though. This pet's actually pretty useful. Because he gives you like the the prompt to do more damage, like almost every battle, like every enemy. There it is. That's cool. Tina is so good. Then we need 50 to unlock the next one. But there you go. I think we're gonna end it there. So that is it. That's Everclicker. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on this. Uh, go check it out for yourself if you want. But I'm done for today. So thanks for watching. Wait, one more swipe with the antelope or animal rope. I don't know what. I don't even know what it was. That's it. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more. Uh, we have plenty of other like videos on the channel. Go check this out, like wizard videos and stuff. But thanks again for watching. I'll see you all next time.